What is Shambhala to you? Madness. <laughs> it's just everything turned up to 11. Shambhala is love and oneness and feeling comfortable in your own skin. It's the people. Like, there's so much, you know, it's a music festival and it's an art festival. But the people are just like the most amazing part of it. Artistic creation flow. Shambhala to me is the most pure, beautiful form of expression through everybody here in whatever way that means to them. Get your ass to Shambhala, man. It'll change your life. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so it is the end of Shambhala. I am absolutely super tired, exhausted, hobbling around. But man, what an amazing weekend. We absolutely had an amazing time. Met so many awesome people. <laughs> so many serendipitous moments. Huge shout out and thank you to Shambhala for having us out here and uh, documenting our experience. Shambhala is the biggest independent and longest running music festival here in Canada and pretty much the granddaddy of all EDM festivals here in Canada. It's an absolute vibe. If you're interested, I highly suggest you coming out. My name is Dayton aka Dr. Arnflower and this is our Shambhala 2023 experience. What is going on guys? It is the start of our Shambhala adventures. We're already halfway, more than halfway to Shambhala, but we had to do a little stopover in Calgary. Right now we're just here in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains, just about to go in, do the Crow's Nest Pass. Just wanted to show you guys our setup. This is the most stacked we've ever had this car for a festival. Get a load of this. Completely full with all kinds of goodies for camping. All right, it is. 114 we made it to the farm but yeah we made it here we're checking in everyone's getting ready let's go all right so we are here at the lineup as you can see behind me everyone lines up here and they wait for uh they let in each line at, at one time and then they go through check in here which is right here and then security over there there's some people who park their cars and uh, walk in they uh, park the cars back there. That looks like where the uh, car park is all starting. And it'll fill up this whole back area. And just one thing to note, definitely have a full tank of gas. Make sure AC is doing good before you come in here because you could be sitting here for half a day and you do want AC because you're gonna be cooking. It is freaking hot today. And then umbrella. Yeah, definitely really, bring some umbrellas. Really helpful. Yeah. So this is a good example of sunshine camping. Uh, after the car park here in the far corner, uh, we got Sunshine, which is this big field here. Then over there, that little field is Starlight, where you can use camperized vehicles, campers, uh, RVs and stuff. Then Meta, way back in the trees there. All right, it's Wednesday afternoon, and it's freaking hot, and everyone's heading to the river. Yeah. It's really nice, really cool. All right, so we made our way, I think, over to Muscle Beach now, get some shots. <laughs> Mitchie's getting in the mood, and it uh, looks like the main crowd's over here, and we got some awesome cover with trees, with the shade. All right, we're in the paid camping here, which is like they uh, hook you up with a tent and a site, and you get the awesome tree cover. Oh, here comes the woo. Here comes the woo. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> I've been wanting to catch that on camera for a little bit. <laughs> We stumbled upon a rope stage here. We're going to try to get a shot. Super crowded. Also, this truck is just bouncing. Check out this setup we found. <laughs> Got Smash Brothers going. <laughs> On the back of a trailer here. Oh, that's so awesome. What is going on guys? So we are all set up here in Sunshine Camping. Got our uh, campsite all set up here. We got two canopies this year. So we got the car all covered up here with tarp. Give some shade for when we're storing stuff in there so it's not cooking the heat. We got canopy. Canopy light, those are really handy. We've got set up here, chairs, table. Yeah, it's not the best, but 
definitely makes it a lot more comfortable when you're staying here in sunshine because it gets freaking hot. So probably the most important things to have with this kind of setup is uh, shade and you gotta have tarps, you gotta have tapestries, all that kind of stuff. Inside the tent here we got the fan, very useful, definitely get one of these. Highly recommend having a tent fan. But we are about to get the party started, so let's get out there and show you guys what Shambhala is all about. All right, we're making our way down to the downtown area, and it is freaking hot. <laughs> hot and really, really dusty. <laughs> right now, a bandana or a mask is definitely a necessity. All right, we're making our way into the living room. This is our first stage since it started, and it looks like it's popping off. We're gonna get some shots here. The weather is already a little cooler here in the trees. Got these huge trees here. shade we got the river right here we're cooling down the temperature is awesome it's straight from the glaciers pretty much refreshing. really cold refreshing water yeah <laughs> really nice yeah it just drops your core temperature down right away so oh man i was needing that so it's thursday it's the chill day it's a relaxed day where two stages going and uh we're not going to go too hard today tomorrow is the big day but uh, yeah, we're getting Tomorrow, we're getting the mood. And then the next day, and then the next day. Yeah. <laughs> Safety test. Check this out, this is like a little chapel here, a little wedding area. Got a wedding going on. I need you to gather up all that energy right now. And I need you to let it down. We need you to let it down. sun since like six it got really crazy hot we wanted to go have some showers and stuff 
And we've just been chilling here. The sun's down. There's a nice big mountain here, as you can see here, and it blocks the sun around like 6.15. So after then, it's uh, nice and cool. But we've been relaxing, getting ready for the nighttime here, Thursday night night. Uh, two stages are open. And I just want to give a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Meepo Boards. I've had my Meepo all-terrain electric longboard for the whole year now. Been riding it a ton and absolutely love this thing. Easily one of the funnest things I've ever rode in my life. This thing is super carvy and tons of power. If you're interested in more information on Meepo Boards, I'll be putting a link in the video description down below. We're just walking through the downtown here. See what's going on. Get into the festival mood now. Getting pumped, see lots of old friends. Testing out their lights right now, getting all set up for tomorrow. Have a little peek here. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get wild here tomorrow. It all looks like Fractal also, Forest is testing their stuff now. I cannot wait to go there. Fractal Forest is my absolute favorite stage, hands down. I love Fractal. It's also really dusty this year, so it makes the lasers really show. <laughs> Well, it's becoming a tradition to check out the gallery here on the first uh, opening day on Thursday, so might as well go check it out. What do they got this year?
pretty damn good start for a Thursday here at Shambhala. Got the whole place lit up here, it looks really nice. And uh, we are excited for tomorrow for all the stages to be open. Right now it's a little crowded at uh, both stages because that's all you got. So everyone just packed in there. Not a big fan of the big crowds, but uh, that'll kind of disperse tomorrow. I like these woods though. I think it's time to have a little smoke break in these woods. <laughs> Check out these trees here. Love the laser shows they do for the trees. <laughs> for you guys how do you feel about space It is Friday morning. <laughs> we are slowly rolling out of bed here. And uh, we actually got some wind, so that's kind of nice. Oregon woke up at like 10, 10.30 from the heat, which is a lot worse than last year. I remember last year we had a lot of cloud cover and it kept us nice and cool. Just have a little smoke break here and uh, we're gonna be getting to the festival festivities here pretty soon. Um, I know it starts really popping off around like four-ish or so. It's slowly starting to start up here, I think around 12. So one of the big things for today is the big hot box of the village for stylus. So, what's up, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> we are out and about. We're alive and we're moving. And uh, we're heading to downtown right now. The one thing I'm really happy about today, we were getting a little bit of cloud cover. <laughs> Love me some clouds. <laughs> Yes. The village is open now, Grove is open now. Uh, they're slowly starting to open it up. In the next two hours, I think everything should be opened up. And we are a go. Oh, they changed village up. No more, no more center thing here. Take a little break from the wildness and go to the grove. Where it's a little more chill, a little more uh, vibey. A lot more shaded too. Oh yeah. We got a vibe going on here. Oh, 
behind the grove at the secret garden here, and this used to be Cedar Grove, I think. Uh, it used to be the really, really chill stage with like no lasers, no lights, just really uh, down tempo kind of music. And it was the kind of the place you go just hang out if you're like really need a break from all the stimulation. And then sandwiched in between the secret garden and the grove is the uh, pretty much the chill hangout spot. Everyone puts up their hammocks and whatnot. There's some interactive artwork back there. I want you to embody that anything completely. Realize that you are not you. I go back and forth every single day. You are the infinite possibility of everything in every moment. And you just decided to show up in this shape for a second or two to have some experiences, to have some fun. To play. Allowing and accepting ourselves completely. Giving ourselves permission to be silly, to be ridiculous, to be to be simple, to be nothing. What is the purpose? What is the purpose? Oh. So someone's gotta do the Whoa, what do we got here? Beat? Is it a beat puzzle? I think so, yeah. Holy shit. She sounds gotta do the hi hats. <laughs> hey, 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 come on! Sim Sima, who got the beats that'll keep you? Moving through the evening till the morning greets you. Buenos dias, pleased to meet you. Allow me to introduce the oh, oh. Well, the vibes are high today. Spirit is high out here, and I'm high. We're having a good time. Taking away to Fractal, that's about to open up, and uh, that should be a good, uh, good little dance off there. Yeah, yeah, everyone's getting ready for Fractal. Oh, oh, looks like Fractal's about to open. Freddy J opens up the Fractal here. That's always a good time. I can't film in there, but I can film the vibes from the outside. <laughs> this is always the most like electric, the most energy place. Oh man, it's such a blast. Especially at nighttime. Nighttime is unreal. <laughs> Look at him go! Well, we just had some dinner and uh, Shambla is in full swing now. We've got all the stages open. The crowd's dispersed among the stages and it's a lot less crowded than last night, so that's nice. But yeah, party's, party's bumping. So we're gonna get over to the big smoke out. Stylists, uh, they do a big smoke out. They smoke up the whole village. Everyone's hot boxing it. There's the village. It looks smoky as hell there. Holy shit, the smoke is rising. <laughs> I can smell the weed from here. Yeah, it's hard to describe. I get a little speechless too. <laughs>
So what is what is it like being here in Shambhala? How is, how is it so far? Oh, it's wonderful. Is this your first time here? It's the first time here. Wow. wow. And this what, what morning can... we saw the, uh, the opening ceremony, and that was awesome. Nice. Along with uh, Frazier, and he did an incredible job. Wow. So is this your first festival or have you been to other festivals before? Have we been to another festival? We've been to a lot of concerts. Oh yeah. <laughs> first EDM? First festival. Wow, wow, nice. <laughs> Holy shit, we're at the living room now. Man, sick hit going on. This thing is off the hook. Holy shit. year pretty much same thing happened uh, got into the little mushies a little bit and it got really intense <laughs> yeah first we were in a hammock for a little while just like taking it all in and they were like well okay let's go back to the tent and relax so 
So this year I want to talk about and focus on sustainable raving, sustainable partying, as it definitely is important for this kind of event. Uh, it is a marathon, not a race, as I've said before, and it gets a little wild and very intense. So a little goes a long way. Um, for mushies, for us, like sometimes it can get really intense. We don't have a tolerance right now. So yeah, definitely got wild. There's a big harm reduction culture here. So definitely have all the information before you do anything. Uh, get it tested. There's a bunch of testing here. We'll show you guys. Party safe. Uh, safety first, everyone. Wear your safety glasses too. <laughs> Got some karaoke going on. Because all she wants to do is dance. And make romance. No matter who. Coming out the street. She wants to party. Alright, so we're here with Bill. Why do you come to Shambhala? I come to contribute. Actually, I, when I come to festivals, I find um, if I'm just like paying to go and I'm just like experiencing it, that's great. But what I also like is being able to contribute to the experience for other people. I find that that actually adds a lot more. It makes it more enriching for me. So usually I volunteer. Also, it's cheaper. And the great thing about, I mean, I'm vending this time is I was able to skip the parking and all that kind of stuff, which is really great. What is Shambhala to you? Madness. <laughs> it's, it's, this is like, this is everything turned up to 11. Um, I've been to a few festivals now, and this one's definitely the biggest. And it's it's like, uh, it really shows the potential of where these things can go, because I've been to a couple other ones that are a little bit of a different sort of layout, but this one is just like biggest and most spectacular of all of them, so. My sisters and I, we've been uh, doing a booth for over 16 years at Shambhala. Oh wow. And we host small artists that can't afford a big giant booth. So this is like one of a kind. Most of them are made directly from the artists on this Very side. Very unique. And then we've merged with Raver Gear and so we've got all of the Raver stuff and all of the artist stuff. Wow. And we offer anything that anyone needs. Like we have a tickle trunk for things that <laughs> really? if you don't have money and you're stranded in the wilderness in the like freezing cold yeah you come to our tickle trunk we get you up and we get you back out there wow nice so this is like first aid sanctuary yeah everything that's okay? awesome that's awesome <laughs> cool yeah. do you have anything special to say to the world <laughs> um well just make sure that you tend to your own garden and the seeds that you plant are plants that are worth growing you know because we all gotta just make sure we are good humans <laughs> be a good human <laughs> all right guys we're recharged now we got some food in us we are uh, rehydrated and we are making our rounds around Shambhala here on Saturday checking out the river right now checking out the living room vibe is definitely here on the water. It's like everyone's on the water right now. Looks like we got a dance class here. Okay, let's add to our gallop. Here we go. Six, seven, and heel, heel. Heel, 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 heel. Let's go check out the Grove Gallery here. Oh, my God. 
What's your name and where are you from? I'm Jordan and I live in Whistler. What's your favorite, favorite stage? Favorite stage? Uh, I like the Grove. I think the Grove is my favorite stage. Like especially at like 4 a.m. in a hammock. That's where I just want to be my whole life. It's just like swinging in a hammock in the Grove. And then the village for like the big vibes. What makes Shambla special for you? I think it's the people. Like there's so much, you know, it's a music festival and it's an art festival. But the people are just like the most amazing part. I've made friends in the porta potty line, I made friends in the water line, and like they're the greatest people I've ever met. And it's yeah, just the best feeling being connected to everybody. Do you have anything special to say in the world? Yeah, just keep being you and find find the people you love and spend all your time with them. So I accidentally filmed this on slow motion, but this is Anchor. So they do testing and make sure everyone's partying safely and give them all the information they need. Shambla is definitely very big on safety, so this is part of their harm reduction. So they got a sanctuary here, and uh, that's where you go if you're having a kind of hard time, you're tripping balls. Uh, you go in there and they kind of take care of you. Um, this medical over here, come in here for any kind of medical thing, like feasting. Uh, slivers, all kinds of stuff. Uh, stubbing your toe, making big cuts and whatnot. So yeah, they're taking care of you here. And again, a uh, big thing on safety here. Definitely always be hydrated. Uh, keep, keep yourself healthy, eat food, get sleep. Sleep is a big thing, definitely get sleep. So we're with Shale again with p hey. Tie-Dye. Yeah, so you guys remember this guy from last year? Yeah, last tie -dye year. Tie-Dye Master. Back again, baby. We're rocking some tie-dye here. We're getting ready for the festival. And uh, let's talk about Shambhala. Oh, so, buddy. what is Shambhala to you now? Oh, just the vibe, man. It's the vibe. Everyone's real nice. It's, it's the place to come to. I've never experienced anything like it last year left me with a really good feeling and I'm like I gotta come back gotta come back yeah yeah what's your favorite stage fractal forest is cool village is cool it kind of all depends on who's playing and what your mood is and stuff like that because they all play the different music so yeah. been hitting up the grove saw my homie abstract sonnets nice. played last night he slayed it so that's cool do you have anything special to say to the world come to Shambhala once it'll change you for real for real Big shout out to this guy. Big shout out to this guy. I appreciate him coming and showing yeah. some love. All right, it's the start of Saturday night. Things are confident. Saturday night. Saturday night. Yeah, yeah the feeling's all right. Check this out over here, they got blackjack. I think it's called riffraff. I hate this blackjack. object, it's going to cause a problem, I love it. Okay, People absolutely. are betting and uh, trying to win things of equal value. Just weird I, I odds a, and end trinkets and stuff. Sure. It's pretty funny to watch. How do you feel about real, real weird shit? Uh, I, I like real, real weird shit. Like okay. <laughs> I have, for a second bet, my ex-wife's Baby fist cast in plastic. Wow. It is dated with her birthday and has her name on it. That is it is my wife <laughs> now. Oh, it funny. is my ex-wife's plaster baby fist. I wonder what people like, are gonna do with it when they win it. Her is a baby plaster cast fist. Oh my god, I want that. I got this in the divorce and now you it is Rick. Why did you get this? Because she doesn't like trinkets and I am a man of garbage. <laughs> I will bet for the trash I might have some garbage. Is this a new object? I can't say she's not also a woman of garbage. She did thank you for our. Hey! 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 Alright, are you guys all matched up over here? Yeah. It's Supreme Dictators. We got an ace delta. Over here on the wife's baby fist, we got a five. I've also got a bugle. I have the thing to bet with that. Okay, great. That's why I'm showing you. I like. I've got exactly the thing. I I brought good shit tonight. I brought the fucking slugs. Ah! On the five now. Ah! Excuse me, I've only got a four. So this game's now. All right, we're headed to the pagoda. We haven't been there much since we've been here. There you go. Check it out.
got mood tricks on here at the night show. Fucking vibes up in here. Make it rain, make it rain. Let's <laughs> go! Yeah! Right on, Shambhala. This All is right. a good time. This is a good time right now. Anywhere you stand at Pagoda is just like 
music. Sound quality here, there, back here, and then breeze coming through the, the track of forest in the pagoda, and you're cooling down. Exactly. I love house. Exactly. It's like my number one. Get into drum and bass this year a lot more, and dubstep. It's getting bigger. It's getting it is. Bigger. What's your favorite stage here, Jump Off? Probably Pagoda, Pagoda, but also Village. That's always a tough question. Just I think the high this, fucking energy. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm housey, <laughs> housey, 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 house, 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 house. But yeah, I'm probably gonna spend a lot of time here tonight. That's the last night, Shambhala. Um, end the Village a bit. I'm gonna catch Zed's dad. I don't even know where he's playing. I think here. Is Pagoda? Or your Village, you know. Lasers. Fucking lasers. Fucking lasers. lasers. Why did you come to Shambhala? I came to Shambhala because I used to go to a lot of bush stuffs. At least that's what the Australians told me they're called. Yeah. Little private illegal raves in the bush. Yeah. And um, yeah, I started experiencing those and I, I found PK Sound. I found my friend Colin out in the woods. Uh, shout out to DJ Secret Loop. And uh, he taught me a lot, showed me a lot, got me into some funky stuff. And then I'm like, what is this? They're like, this is mini Shambhala vibes all over the interior of BC. You should go to Shambhala. I'm like, okay. And then I came. And I was like, oh, it all makes sense now. Nice, We're all bass nice. heads. Do you have anything special to say to the world? Live your best life. Have fun. Experience music. Don't let people tell you that these things are too freaky and you should go to them because some people try to do that. They do, honestly. You shouldn't go to music festivals. You shouldn't do drags. Yeah. I'm like, you definitely should. Sometimes it's good to get a little freaky. Get a yes. Little wild. A little freaky. I'm, <laughs> I'm full freak this this song a lot. I'm here alone, but I'm not at all. Right, right on, man. Awesome, that's awesome. Happy songs, man. <laughs> that is so awesome. I'm absolutely just tripping out on how serendipitous this place is. Like, you just manifest things and they happen here. It's absolutely insane. Uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna take you guys on a little tour here of the Cat Dome. We've taken you on the tour of the Cat Dome the last two years. Let's go check it out. Here it is, the Cat Dome. And as you can see, they're fucking rocking out. <laughs> and now you can actually go inside and uh, control the cats. So we're gonna go say hi, see what we can do here. No, we can Whoa. charge people like a the theater. The Cat Dome lives. <laughs> So who's controlling it? This is the conductor. <laughs> the conductor. What we got going on here? Holy shit. A lot of shrooms. A lot of shrooms and a lot of kitties. <laughs> Holy shit. This place is absolutely in fucking insane. Oh my god. We got test pilot dead mouse behind us here. Holy shit. Everyone is just lit tonight. <laughs> oh man, we're having a good time. Check out how many good decisions you made in your life to be here right now. You guys are fucking killing it. <laughs> so are you.
lot of the trees here to grow. It 
Sunday night, I guess. <laughs> we are slowly getting out of bed, 6 p.m. Yeah, uh, talking about uh, sustainable partying here. Um, definitely, if you need rest, take the rest. There's no need to push yourself and, you know, get exhausted and whatnot. So if you gotta take some rest, you gotta sleep in, definitely do it. But as you can see here, the sun just went down, so don't have to worry about the heat now. So about last night, <laughs> it was pretty freaking intense. We had a pretty good trip, a <laughs> pretty good night. Uh, it did get a little difficult at times. and like a laugh trip? Yeah, it was kind of a laugh trip. It was pretty fun. And uh, she had a little bit of a difficult time, so uh, another thing about sustainable, you know, responsible yeah. partying, you go take your breaks when you need yeah. to. You gotta get out of the, the crowd and go back to the tent and just relax for an hour. Definitely do it. Helps the mindset, helps reset, and uh, get ready for getting back in there. So we kind of got a change up this year. Uh, last year and the year before, Fractal Forest was absolutely our hands down favorite stage. And last night, I think ch things changed. We had probably the most amazing experience over at the Grove. The whole, the whole crowd was absolutely such a vibe. Oh man, everyone's vibe was just immaculate. <laughs> So last night was a total trip too because <laughs> many crazy things happened. Yeah. Uh, but one of the craziest is Mitchie's story. We went to the bathroom and she <laughs> Literally, legitimately believe that she saw an alien. <laughs> Tell them the story. No, because there's like a big guy standing in the bathroom. Yeah, there was like kind of like a unusually really, large dude yeah, standing like outside really the, and guy. all white. And it's you know like super tall and it's wearing all white and it's yeah. super dark. And then you're tripping balls with mushroom and then <laughs> you're trying to figure it out his face, but I can see his face and. His neck is really long. <laughs> yeah, so she pretty much believes it was an alien. And a lot of other people believe uh, there was UFOs up last night, so. <laughs> and I'm just like freaking out because what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> it really tripped her out. Stand up. Uh, it's an absolute sand where you meet all the greatest people and have come together in the best possible way. Like, what's more to love? What, what's your guys' favorite stage and why? Oh. I've, I've been going to the living room a fair bit for most of the night, but oh, how good was the village last yeah, the night? Village the village, the sound loud. system on the village was <laughs> amazing. Nice. Yeah. Just bumping. Oh, dude, like, I've never thought I needed earplugs at a uh, festival before, and like, yeah. when that bass was hitting, I was like, fuck, I actually need earplugs, man. I'm, I'm going <laughs> yeah, there. yeah. But it was worth it, though. I didn't put them in. Tell me about the bass. What do you guys think about the bass here? Dude. Yeah? <laughs> you feel it in your bones pretty yeah, much? It made my nose rattle. I was saying that last night. My nose was like, brrr, I was like, what the hell? Why do you come to Shambhala? What what made you come to Shambhala? Oh, man. We heard great things about it and we wanted to check it out. And it ended up being the best festival we've ever been to. Nice. Yeah, same thing. Like, I've had mates come here from back home. And they said, if you're going to go to any festival, come to Shambhala. Never get another festival like it around the world, really. Nice. And yeah, it definitely hasn't let me down. So no complaints, really. <laughs> hey. <laughs> What's the craziest thing you've seen here? I saw a girl either dress up as a baby or a fake cancer oh, patient, yeah. laying in a wagon doing things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well, she's looking at best life. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> what makes Shambla special to you guys? Yeah, you know what the case um, is. Community. 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 The love and the kindness. Yeah. Like-minded individuals. You know, everyone here, yeah. they know what they want. Everyone's super inclusive. So, like, not many places around the world you can, like, walk up to, like, a random group of strangers. Oh, and, yeah. like, yeah. even if you're super weird or like, <laughs> way out of the left field, yeah. everyone's like, man, you're doing you, bro. That's awesome. Like, they accept you completely. Which is the best part about it. Yeah, yeah everyone can be them, themselves here. Yeah. They love that. 
Do you guys have anything special to say to the world? Oh, oh man. Big question. Everybody wow. love everybody. Yeah. Get your ass to Shambhala, man. It'll yeah. change your life. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. So where are you guys from? Calgary. Calgary. Edmonton. Edmonton. Okay, Southern okay. California. Nice, nice. Oh. Is Saki, your... Saki, Saki, where are you from? I'm from uh, Seattle, going to Hawaii. Nice. Maybe moving to Canada because I fucking love my goddamn creatives so fucking much. Shambhala 2024. This is Woo! the center of the motherfucking universe yeah. right now. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, dude, oh, we party rock so fucking hard. She fell right for it. What is Shambhala? Shambhala is love and oneness and feeling comfortable in your own skin. And what is Shambhala? Shambhala to me is freedom and community and just expressing yourself and being completely free. What's your favorite so thing about Shambhala? Oh, my favorite thing, uh, the people, the, the people, community, yeah. the vibe is so beautiful. We just ask this chat. Yeah. How, how do you like it for your first time? Dude, so I drove up here from Southern California by myself for the first time. Nice. Uh, I loved it, bro. It it changed my life. That is awesome like, to hear. 100%. Like, I'm a new person after this festival. That's awesome. Yeah. What would you tell someone who hasn't been here before? Why should they come? To, to be free. That's motherfucking to, awesome! Yeah. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> to experience freedom. This is like my focus now. Like this is the focal point of my life. <laughs> Give me, hold on, get a video Please. of this. Can I just turn it the fuck up? Tell me about the bass at this this festival. What is the bass like? The bass is absolutely fucking unreal. I've never felt anything in my whole entire life like the bass here. Like, words cannot describe it. You're standing there and just like the movement, the movement coming from yeah. the sound. Like you can you can see the sound. Yeah, yeah. You're smoking and the smoke's just vibrating yeah. in the air. Yeah, like everything's uh, just like. I thought I knew what bass was until I came here and then I felt actual bass. Yeah. And I this was is my like, best friend. <laughs> this is my best friend Angie. <laughs> this is my mom. <laughs> Do you guys have anything special to say in the world? Uh, live your life. Actually live your life, have right fun. Yes. Live your life, Wait, what? Have fun. <laughs> live your life, have fun. Be real. Yeah, be Don't real. Be generous. Stay, Stay true awesome. to yourself. Stay true to yourself, and only you. believe. The ones that love you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I fixed my stick so it's all good. We're ready to party. Fuck yeah. Let's rock. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so it is the last night here, Sunday night, and uh, we are just getting prepared to head out. And uh, we're just gonna vibe tonight. We didn't go out for the festival during the daytime today. It was super hot. It was absolutely ridiculous cooking us. So we had to recover and uh, sleep in a bit, but now it's time to go party. Oh, is this Holy shit. <laughs> All right, we're in the downtown Ninja Pagoda. And this place is packed. All the trees is here. We put on an amazing show at the Grove last night. We were playing a second one, second set.
Okay. Ending up here. Yeah. Yeah, it was. First, I want to talk about how amazing this year's Shambhala was. I've said it before and there is something magical about this place. I don't know what it is, but once you are able to tap into that thing, um, it is absolutely amazing. It's mind-blowing. The experiences I've had there are unlike anything I've experienced anywhere in this world. I can easily say now that for Canada, this is the most magical place you could, you could go in Canada. Like there is just some kind of energy there that is just, um, I don't know how to explain it. Also the vibe, the vibe there is unlike anything I've ever experienced anywhere in the world. Um, very, very special place. I don't know what it is about that place. Maybe it's because everyone is on the same vibe, but there's just this connection feeling that's so powerful and so strong. Like you, you feel like you're connected to everyone else there on the dance floor and like everything's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's hard to put into words. And sometimes it can leave me with my just jaw dropped and just like in awe. So I absolutely love it. Also I wanna talk about uh, leaving the farm. So this was the first time we've left a little bit later in the day. Um, and we did have a little bit of a difficult experience. Um, one, because we were exhausted, super tired, um, just not in the best mood to like pack everything up and it was super hot too during the day so doing this all taking everything down in the heat not the funnest time to do it um, so yeah that definitely made tensions rise a little bit and also I believe there was vehicles that broke down on the way out so there was uh, some big lineups um, so I think it took us around three hours or so to get out, maybe more, I'm not too sure. Um, but it did take a while and some things to remember, definitely have a full tank of gas before you go in there. Uh, make sure AC's working, like this is very important. Make sure you have extra waters. Uh, like we had people coming up to us who were pretty much dying of thirst. They didn't pack any extra waters or anything like that and they were sitting in their car their car was about to run out of gas, so they couldn't have the AC on. So these guys had a rough time. We hooked them up with some waters and some snacks. But you don't really want to be in that situation. You want to think ahead, bring some extra waters, bring some extra snacks, because you could be in that lineup for a while. Um, the longest time to get out will be probably from like late morning to uh, the evening, pretty much. So it's going to be pretty packed that time on Monday so either some people leave really early they don't party too much they get some sleep and they leave early some people will sleep in and leave uh, in the evening or just write off Monday altogether and leave Tuesday when it's not much lines at all so that's your options what you could do um, next year I probably would want to leave on Monday evening also make sure your vehicles mechanically sound before you go do this 
Uh, you don't want to be one of those people who break down in the lineup and then block everyone and cause a huge hassle. Then they got to bring tow truck in or something get you moved. That is not something you want to be doing. Also, when you're going out, there's most likely going to be road checks, police checking, if you're okay to drive and whatnot, if you're well rested. That also adds to the uh, lineup time so people have to go get processed through the cops and that definitely takes time during the day during the peak uh, rush hour of everyone trying to get out and on the safety thing I highly highly recommend you get your rest before you do any driving before you leave the farm get your rest get some sleep and it's super important because that is the time when accidents happen when people leave the farm so if there is one thing I would like people to take away from this video uh, would be safety first. Like if you're gonna come to Shambhala and experience this for yourself, please have safety in mind. This place lets you have the purest form of expression you can have and so much freedom. But with that, you do have to be safe about it. You need to be safe and respect others, respect other people's space, uh, etiquette, have respect for the festival and people who put this on and allow us to come to this amazing place. We want to continue to do that, and the way we do that is do it safely. Also, etiquette is another big one too. Um, there was a bit more pushing and shoving this year, so I'm sure there's a lot of influx of new festival goers who've never been before, and maybe that's normal in other places, but it's not really normal in Shambhala. You should have respect for others, respect for other people's space, and that goes with dancing, that goes with uh, you know like interacting with people, also goes with camping. But with that being said, just wanna say a huge shout out to everyone who came up to us and said hi. We're kinda of shy people, so I definitely appreciate when people come up and say hi. We met so many awesome people at this festival. We were really happy to meet a bunch of you guys out there and definitely looking forward to next year, meeting some same faces, meeting some new faces. So thank you all again for the love and support we've received for making these videos. Uh, really means a lot and uh, makes me wanna continue. So next year, 2024, is actually the big uh, 25th anniversary of Shambhala. So it's going to probably be absolutely amazing. Um, I can only imagine how wild it's going to be. So definitely looking forward to that. Hope to see some of you guys there. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you have some ideas of stuff you'd like to see in the next video, put that in the comment section down below or if you got any questions. I'm always happy to help out anyone with questions on this stuff. But until next Shambhala, guys, peace out. We'll catch you guys later.